Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play the guitar solo from the classic Journey song, Lights. Now, I love Neil Sean's guitar playing, and with this one, you really get to slow down and dig into the notes, so that makes it a lot of fun. All right, let's jump on into it. All right, here's section one at normal and then slow speed. Now we're going to break this one up into three boxes, okay? The first box is where we go. <laughs> now with this one, um, you don't, don't get caught up on where you start the slide and where you go up to. Just slide up and down the neck and make sure you got the feel right. Also, from a tone standpoint, um, using a neck pickup, I'm using the neck pickup of this guitar here, is going to help give it that, you know, kind of fatter, deeper tone. So keep that in mind too. Now in the second box, we're going to do this. Now with that first little slide there from the 7th fret of the A string to the ninth fret, you don't want to linger on that note, the first note, like this. You want to come out of it quickly. All right? After that, you're going to play 7th fret of D followed by 9, and then 7 on G. Here's that second box again, a couple times. Then in the third box, we're going to play this. So it's 9th fret of G, quickly slide up to 11. Again, don't linger on that 9th fret. 10 on B, 12 on B. Okay. So here's this entire section one more time at normal and then slow speed. All right, let's move to section two. Here's section two at normal and then slow speed. We're going to break this one up into three boxes, and the first one goes like this. So we start at the 12th fret of the high E, bend it up a full step. Then we have another bend at the 12th fret of the high E, uh, but this time you're going to come down from it, and you're going to kind of take your time going down a little bit slower than you came up. Okay, so far. Then we're going to play on the high E string 10, 12, 10, add vibrato. Here's that first box again. Then in the second box we play this. So it's 10 on E, 12 on B, 10 on E. Then in the third box we play this. Now for the third box, it's mostly the same as the first box, but you end on a different note, okay? So you got 12th fret of high E, bend up. Followed by another bend with a slower descend and then 10, 12 on the high E, and then 10 on B, and then a little slide down. Here's that third box again. All right, let's piece section two all together. Here it is at normal and then slow speed. Let's move to section three. Here's section three at normal and then slow speed. So in the first box we play this. So it's 10th fret of high E bend up a full step. And then 10th fret of high E with vibrato. Then in the second box, we do this. So we start with the seventh fret of the high E, followed by 10, seven on B. Then we're gonna bend up on the ninth fret of the G string quickly, back down and pull off the seven. So far in that second box. And then nine on D, seven on G, vibrato. Here's the section one more time at normal and then slow speed. All right, 
let's move on to section four. Here's section four at normal and then slow speed. We're gonna break it up into two boxes. The first one goes like this. So it's seventh fret of D, quickly slide up to nine, followed by seven nine on G. Then in the second box, we do this. So it's ninth fret of G, bend up and give it some vibrato. And then another ninth fret of G, bend up and hold it for a little bit, come down and pull off to seven. And then ninth fret of G, vibrato. Here's that second box again. Here's section four in its entirety at normal and then slow speed. Okay, let's move on to section five. All right, section five goes like this at normal and then slow speed. We're going to break this one up into four boxes, and the first one goes like this. So it's 9th fret of G, quickly slide into 11, and then 10, 12 on B. Then the second box, we're going to play this. So what you want to do is bar your index finger across the 10th fret of the high E and B strings, and then when you play those, quickly hammer on to the 12th fret of the B. Okay. Then with that new shape that you have, which is 12 of B and 10 of high E, you play that twice. Again, here's that second box. Now the third box is exactly the same as the second box. Then in that fourth box, we're going to play this. So what you're going to do now is um, you're going to play that, that shape, that 12 of B and 10 of E, but you're pulling off the 12th fret of B to the 10th of E, okay? and then 12th fret of G, vibrato. Here's section five again at normal and then slow speed. Okay, let's move on to section six. Here's section six at normal and then slow speed. break this up into a couple boxes. The first, we do this. That's 10 of B and then 12 of B. Now in the next couple boxes, boxes two through five, we have these groupings of four notes in each one. And that's the way I prefer to teach it, because if you learn it in groupings of four, it allows you to get the feel down better as you're practicing. So in the second box, we do this. So what we're doing here at the beginning here is we've got our index finger barred across the 10th fret of the E and B string. So it's 10 on E followed by 10 on B. And then we've got 12 on B, 11 on G. Now there's a lot of ways you can finger this section, okay? Instead of doing the 12 on B, 11 on G, you could do seven on E and seven on B, right? Um, there's a lot of ways you can do it. So figure out what works best for you. But I did notice watching Neil play live that he kind of does it the way I do it for if that's worth anything. Uh, but experiment and, and figure out what uh, where it makes most sense for you to play the notes. Okay, so that, that second box again. Then in the third box, we play 10 on B, 9 on G. And then 7 on B, 7 on G. Now, once we get down to the seventh fret notes, I'm barring my finger across the G and B strings. Um, I tend not to let them blend. Uh, it goes by so fast. Uh, you can let them blend if you want because it's going to go by pretty quickly. And then in the fourth box, we play this. So it's ninth fret of G followed by ninth fret of D. And then seven of G, seven of D. 
Then in the fifth box, we've got uh, kind of the same shape we just did in the fourth box, but we've moved everything down another string. So now it's nine on D, nine of A. Seven on D, seven of A. Okay. So far, slowly. Then in the final box, we play this. So it's 9th fret of A followed by 5th of A. And then 7th fret of A, bend up and down, pull off to 5. Add some vibrato and slide up. A lot of times people miss that slide up. Now if that fingering is kind of weird moving from 9 to 5 that quickly, uh, you could replace the 5th fret of A with 10th fret of D. Or even open D. So again, experiment with fingering that works more comfortably for you if needed. Here's the section one more time at normal and then slow speed. All right, let's move to section seven. All right, here's section seven at normal and then slow speed. So we'll break this up into three boxes, and the first goes like this. So you're going to bend up at the 15th fret of the high E and then back down. And then 13th fret of high E followed by 15 of B, add vibrato. Now a lot of times I'll see people, uh, after they do that first bend, they'll pull off to the 13th fret of the high E instead of pick it like this, instead of um, Either way, I think you're going to be fine, but if you listen closely to the original, Neil picks that note. Then in the second box, we do this. So once again, we start with a bend at the 15th fret of the high E, uh, but this time when you come back down, you are going to do a pull off to the 13th fret. And then you're going to play the 15th fret of the high E. Uh, try to add a pinch harmonic if you can. I know it's kind of difficult sometimes on the high E string, especially with single coils too. And then add vibrato. Don't get too hung up on that pinch harmonic if you can't get it in there. And then in the final box, we do this. So you're playing the 13th fret of the high E with a quarter step bend twice. And then 15th fret of B vibrato. Here's the section one more time at normal and then slow speed. All right, let's move to the final section, section eight. All right, section eight goes like this at normal and then slow speed. So we'll break this up into three boxes and the first goes like this. So we're playing 14th fret of the G, quickly slide into 16 followed by 15 and 17 on B. Once again, here's box one. Then in the second box, we play this. Very similar to what we saw earlier, um, where you're gonna bar your finger across the B and E strings and then hammer on to just the B string. So this time we're up at the 17th fret of high E and B. Play both of those and quickly hammer on to 19 of B. And then play that new shape, which is 19 of B and 17 of E two more times. Okay. So far. Now the final box goes like this. And um, this one, a lot of times, it's interesting, I see tabs either leave this part out or just have the, or they continue on with. They do something weird like that. But when I listen back to the original very closely, I hear. So we're going to play 19, 20, 19, 17 on B, and then 19 on G. And then we're going to play 19th of B and 17th of high E together again, add vibrato. So far in that box. 
Then you're gonna just kind of do like a little string scratch on the G and B slide down. Here's that last box again. All right, here's section eight one more time at normal and then slow speed. All right, that was my lesson on how to play the guitar solo from the classic Journey song, Lights. If you found it helpful or informative, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And please hit that subscribe button if you have not done so already. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and I will attempt to answer them as time allows. Until next time, rock on.